Welcome in this video in which we are going to learn how to create an ESA view page. So I'm going to create first a global ESA view page in my resource. So I create a new ESA view page and I click on the default name to rename it. I'm calling it my ESA view and I double click to open the page. In the toolbox I can see all the elements that can be inserted in that page. I'm beginning with a slider, so I insert my slider and I edit the property of this slider. I'm going to change it and I will put it horizontally. Then I will change the maximum value, 360, and also the scale tick major frequency to have less values. I'm going to select a text variable to display the value of my slider. So I create a new variable, my slider1, which will be a double integer. And I will select another animation, which will be indicator value variable. It means that when I will move my slider cursor, it will send the value inside this variable. Then I insert a gauge and the same way I edit the property. I click on this icon to display the extended properties, so all the properties of my object. Um, I will select a color variable to make my object change color depending the value of my slider1 variable and I edit the collection of the fill follower phase. I will select a first step from 0 to 100 with one color, a second one from 101 to 200 with another color, a third one from 201 to 300 with the third color, and finally the last one from 301 to 360 with the last color. So my shape will change color depending the value sent by my slider. Okay, now I have also to make indicator value variable, so it means that um, my gauge will rotate depending the value of my slider. I have to change also the maximum towards the same value that my slider, so 360, and I will change also the scale tick measure frequency. Here I will put 50. Okay. So it's okay for my gauge. I will now insert a new element which will be an edit box. It will allow me to enter a value um, for my variable slider 1. So I will select my variable slider 1 here. Okay, uh, let's insert now a button. So a button will uh, change the value in this case of a boolean variable. So I have to set an action and in this action I will choose invert uh, value. So one time 0, one time 1. Action type, I will, I will choose mouse click and action variable, I will select a boolean variable. So I create a new variable, my button one, which is a boolean, and I want also my button to change color depending the value of this variable. In the fill color, in the fill color phase, I have already two default colors, red and green. I will change them for blue and yellow. Okay, I will now insert a LED. So for this, I take a circle and I will affect a variable for the color variable animation. I will select my button one. Okay, and I will also here change the colors. So the first step will be 
for the zero state it will be blue and I will add a new one for the one value and it will be yellow okay I will now insert two rectangles uh, to show you some more animation and the first one will be for translation and the second one will be for rotation so I have my two similar rectangles I will edit the extended property and for the first one I will select displacement variable so my rectangle will move depending the variable my slider one but I want also this rectangle to change color depending the value of my slider one so I have to set the colors I will create two steps one between 0 and 100 where the color will be black and the second one between 100 and 360 where the color will be red okay uh, for the second uh, rectangle I will have the same thing so I will select color variable my slider one and I will create my two steps first one 0 to 100 black the second one 100 to 360 red and I have now to define my rotation so I will go down to find my rotation variable and I will select my slider one I have now to define how my rectangles are moving so for the one who is doing the displacement I have to define in which area is going to move and for the one who is going to rotate I have to define where to put the center of rotation so the red is for the displacement the blue is for the rotation I exit this mode and I insert finally an image so I resize my image and in the property I have to select my image so I will take the isograph logo and I will put also a web container and in the property of my web container I will write the isograph website address so www.isograph.com I have now to build my solution and then I will simulate it okay so I enter the simulation mode I see that if I click on my button I have my button and my LED which are changing color if I move my slider I see my gauge moving and changing color and I see my two rectangles moving and changing colors also if I enter a value in my edit box I see that all my elements are going in the animation corresponding to this value another functionality I can show you in either view is the edit mode so I'm gonna put either view in edit mode while my program is still in simulation you see the system variables are still moving but my is a view page is in edit mode so I, I'm going to change the color of my buttons and I will put back the default color which are red for false and green for true ok I'm go also going to change the animation of this rectangle the one who is doing the rotation and I will start with a static angle of 90 so my rectangle will be in a vertical position and I want it to rotate only on 90 degrees so I will change the maximum rotation value and I will put it to 1440 we will see later how I have calculated this value I have to change the position of my center of rotation okay and I can move back is a view to simulation mode so I see my button 
and I see my rectangle. So my rectangle is moving only on 90 degrees. Let's let's see um, how I have calculated this value. So uh, my maximum value of the variable is 360. I want to move it on 90 degrees. So I do this calculation. 360 multiplied by 360 divided by 90. I'm going now to export my EaseAview page as a template in order to be able to create several pages on this model. So for each kind of variable, I'm going to indicate with a sentence what is doing this variable. So I'm going to put all the same command for all the variable slider 1. And I'm going to put a command for the button variable. And I will copy it for each button variable. OK, so I have exported my EaseAview page as a template. It means that I can create a new page on the same model. So I'm going to create two new variables, which are my slider 2 and my button 2. And I will use this variable in, in my new page. So if I right click on my resource, I'm going to add a new EaseAview from a template. And I choose the template I have created before. I have to replace the slider variable by the new variable my slider 2 and the button variable by the new variable my button 2. OK. If I open, oh, I will first rename it. And I can simulate my project. So I will open my two pages. I'm going to create a vertical group. So I have here the first page with the variable my slider 1 and my button 1. And on the other side, the page with my slider 2 and my button 2. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or super at isagraph.com.